Welcome to episode 37 of Regen Rovers, where today we're going to be playing two massive games, two relegation six-pointers as they're known. The first of which is against Harrogate Town at home. So we're actually going to be playing our first live com match in the new Regen Rovers stadium, which is fantastic stuff for you guys watching, I suppose. You'll be able to see the stadium in all its glory. And we also will be taking on Havant and Waterlooville. So two teams in the relegation zone with us. They are actually the bottom two teams in the division, as you can see there. We have actually managed to pull away from bottom of the table. We could end today at the bottom of the table, though, if things don't go well for us. But you can see we're two points above Havant to Waterlooville, one point above Harrogate Town. We're on the edge of the relegation zone. It's very close after 11 games. 10 points from 11 games. I'm quite happy with that. At the start of this season, I thought it was going to be a lot worse after those first couple of defeats, but we have managed to recover a little bit. And we have actually managed to pick up our first two wins in this division since the last episode. In the last episode, we drew against Chester and we got thrashed 4-1 by York City. However, we went on to win the next game at the Regen Rovers Stadium 2-0 against Lincoln City. A massive game against a team that were towards the bottom of the table at the time. Not sure where they are at the moment. I think they're still probably towards the bottom. Spencer Drury with another goal for the club, which was great to see. Lovely ball from Marlowe, and it's a fantastic finish into the bottom right-hand corner from Drury. An own goal confirmed victory towards the end of the game. The defence just suddenly decided to play. I put it on defensive training and defending set pieces, and it, I think it's helped the team in the last few games I must say. Danny Bai with a man of the match performance I think 7.6. Siv Zellis helped us out with a 7.4. Lincoln did have more shots than us although we did create the more clear-cut chances and we followed that up with a very good win at home against Sutton United. 2-1 win. We conceded another penalty though. I have no idea what's going on with this. It's almost like a bug. So many penalties we're giving away. Charlie Lofts was actually the culprit. He gave it away but he he made up for it by scoring the equaliser. Warren with the cross in and Lofts just about bundled it home from about two yards out. And we actually managed to win the game in the 76th minute. A goal from Christian Marlow. Mills into Drury who hit the ball and it deflected back to Marlow who poked it past the keeper. And that was a very, very important win for us. Hey George, George has come to say hi. Do you want to say hello to your fans? They love you, don't they? Say hello. Okay, you can you can sit up there for a bit, but not too long, because you do sort of get in the way a bit. Okay, you're just going to sit there. You could at least face the camera. Show off your beautiful, handsome face. No? Ah. Okay, enough of George. He can sit there if he likes, though. He's, he's perfectly happy, I think. Anyhow, the next game was... I'm getting in the way. How did you manage to get a hair in my mouth already? <sighs> nil nil. Okay, against Bournemouth. This was a really good result, wasn't it, George? Because they were top of the table at the time. So to get a nil nil draw and get a second clean sheet this season against the lead leaders away from home, quite uh, quite an achievement. I was very proud of this. Sivzelis seven point one by seven point one. The other defenders still struggled to pick up the, the good ratings, but we played well here, uh, really well to get a good result. I actually played Reese Walker in central midfield. He didn't get a very good average rating, but I think it did help us um, get get this draw because we were quite defensive. You can see Holmes in the defensive midfield role and Reese Walker in central midfield playing as a ball winning midfielder, defend, defensive ball winning midfielder. And it worked out nicely. However, we did lose against Grimsby, Grimsby Town just now. 1-0 defeat. They scored in the 25th minute. We picked up six yellow cards. We got a £750 fine for that. And we also managed to get a red card. Uh, well, five yellow cards plus the yellow card for Chris Holmes and the second yellow card. Um, and that just prevented us from getting back into this game. We were, we were doing okay up to that point when he got sent off. 
but 34% possession just tells a story, doesn't it? Although they only had 10 shots to our 7. We didn't do too badly, but it was mainly us just trying to basically beat them up to try and win this game, and it didn't really work. Fox had a poor game at the back. So I've actually changed the team once again going into this match against Harrogate Town. Still playing two up front, that is the way to go I think this season for us, unless things start to change. Spencer Drury, he's got three goals this season, he's going to play up front alongside Darren Miller. Um, I'm giving him another chance because Chick's gone off the boil a little bit lately, so I've dropped him. Orford's just come back from a head injury, so I won't be putting him into the team. Jack Young hasn't managed to score yet, but he has signed a new contract, and because he was a £500 appearance fee contract. Um, whilst he was injured, obviously wasn't playing, but he has played a couple games with that, so that's a lot of money spent on him. But he's decided to agree to a £85 a week normal contract with £35 appearance fee. There's a couple bonuses in there as well. It's a three-year contract. He deserves that. He deserves the stability of that contract at this club. Whilst he's doing his plumbing, his day job, being a plumber, and he can come along and earn 85 quid a week at Regen Rovers and hopefully start to score goals for us. Are you going, George? Come on, you, you need to decide. You can't get in the way of the microphone. Off he goes. Anyhow, I think you'll be pleased to know that, that Jack Young has signed a new contract. He's not playing today. However, he did score for the under-23s recently. Where are we? In the last match, in fact. So I think that's his only goal of the season. If we just have a look... Bradley Berry also scored in this game, but it's a typical Jack Young goal, to be honest. Running the line. He's not the paciest of strikers, and he has lost a bit of pace since his injury. But he's quite a determined runner, isn't he? And he, he got past the defence and finished it nicely into the corner. We've gone back with um, McKenzie in midfield, the American. Holmes is suspended for this game because of that red card. So in comes the guy on loan from Derby County into defensive midfield, Wesley Roach. So we've gone back with Walker by and Lofts at the back and Halcroft and Warren on the wings, on the wing back positions. This is a crucial game against Harrogate Town. The place I really want to visit one day. I can't recommend it yet. My parents have been and I, I know people that have been to Harrogate and it's a, it's a lovely place. But I personally haven't been yet, although I have been to the surrounding area. I've been to Ripon, I've been through Ripon and... Yeah, um, where else have I been? If I'm just looking on a map to see. Pretty sure. Oh uh, yeah, I think it was Knaresborough that I've been to, which is very close to, to Harrogate. And Boroughbridge. Yeah, Boroughbridge, Knaresborough, Rowcliffe, Ripon. I've been to the area, but I've not actually stepped foot in Harrogate yet. Strangely enough, even though that's the main sort of town in that little bit of Yorkshire there. Anyway, I'm going off topic again, as usual. Let's get on with this, and let's beat Harrogate Town. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bom, bom. So you can see how close it is at the, t the bottom of the table. It's always going to be close to the early stages of the season. We're, no, we're not out of this, though. We have a really good chance of, of pulling out of this trouble. If we can get a few game, a few wins together. Here's Drury. Can we get a late goal at the end of this half? It's back to McKenzie. It's all the way back to Roach in defensive midfield. He plays it into Marlow. Into Miller. Marlow. Oh, lovely skill. And oh, Miller should have scored. That was a brilliant opportunity for Darren Miller to get his first goal of the season. And he's let us down there. Marlow did exceptionally well to set that up. It's here for the taking. And I'm going to go attacking in this second half because we have to. Against a team that are just below us in the table, we need to go attacking. We're being more expressive. I won't go pump ball into the box yet because we had a nice intricate bit of play there. I'm going to take off Darren Miller though and Bradley Berry's going to come on. Let's see if he can prove himself in the first team. He's scoring goals for the under-23s. He scored goals for the first team in the friendlies in pre-season. Can he get a, a very important, important competitive goal for us? Didn't have the best of seasons last year, did he? He really wasn't consistent at all. And Sib Zellis has picked up a strained neck. I'm going to have to bring Grant War on. We can't risk Sib Zellis. I really hope it's not a terrible injury. A strained neck. It's not a red injury, though. It's gone to the orange injury. But let's give some encouragement to Grant War. His first, first team match for a long, long time. Let's hope he doesn't produce a clanger. 
a classic Grant War, as as we now know them, I suppose. Don't do a Grant War, and Mackenzie's going to get sent off. Two red cards in a row. This is not good. This is not how we win matches. And I'm going to... Just, I think I'll just play Marlow in the middle. He can hold it by himself. And what I will do is we're going to pump it up the pitch. We will go direct to the two strikers to run on to. This is not going good. This is... Oh. First of all, Miller misses a good opportunity. Secondly, Sivzelis gets injured. Thirdly, Mackenzie goes and gets sent off. It's not going for us today. It's still nil-nil. We're still in 21st position. It could be a very important draw. Do you like the look of the stadium then? The, the stadium behind, the, behind here is not the best as Marlow scores. Oh, brilliant. We're 1-0 up with 10 men. Marlow's been great again this season. Consistent in midfield for us. I do like this stand here. That's quite beautiful. That one's all right as well. As I, I'm looking at the stands rather than the goal. Great goal from Marlow. Really important goal, and that shoots us up to 18th place as it stands. Can we hang on, though, with 10 men? Maybe I should go defensive. There's only been five shots each in this game. As Harrogate look to try and get back into this, maybe I should bring off one of my strikers, Drury, for example, to hang on to this, but I'm going to wait till the end of this. Oh, look, it's, it's the Dr. Benji player. You may know him from the Salford story. Oh, my God. Days, another penalty. What is wrong with it? This is seriously like a bug. There's nearly a penalty every game against me. This, this, there must be a glitch. Every single game, I've not changed anything defensively from last season, and War can't keep that out. I just don't understand. How is there a penalty every single game? I really don't get it. I'm going to bring Stora on for Drury. So frustrating, and Loft has given about three of them away as well. He's on a 6.3 now. I don't understand. Can we get a winner though here? Warren, back to Roach, into Marlow, plays it into Berry. What's he going to do? It's back to Roach. Come on, young Roach, don't do anything stupid. Here's Marlow, it's Roach. It's all the way back to Charlie Loft. It's into Byron. We're playing it around nicely here. It's into Marlow, Stora, Marlow. What's he going to do? It's through to Bradley Berry. Bradley Berry, it's a great save by the keeper, Howard. And that that was our chance to win the game, I think. Not sure we're going to get another one. Mm, it's all over. It's a, it's a draw. It, it was so positive when we went 1-0 up, considering we were down to 10 men. But it's another penalty, and I really don't understand how we keep giving away penalties. We haven't saved a penalty either, which is a shame. Oh, he's out for two weeks. He strained his neck. Injured catching the ball. So Sivzelis is injured. We're going to have to play Grant War and Owusu, I guess, will have to be on the bench. Still 21st in the league, though, going into this game against Heaven and Waterloo, who are bottom of the table. We have to be beating them. They're the team that was predicted to, to go down with as 1,000 to 1 to win the league. We're both still 1,000 to 1. We're still favourites to be bottom, though. Oh, it's a massive fixture against having to Waterlooville. <laughs> now, I'm signing this guy simply for the name and his nationality. Robin Watalasubi. Great name, but he's from Reunion, which is the same island that Dimitri Payet is from. The French island at Reunion. Brilliant flag, by the way. Love it. He doesn't look amazing, although to be fair, he would actually be our second best left wing back ahead of Winter and Coca. So, those two will probably have to drop into the under-23s because I've got so many left wing-backs. But I love this name. I just had to sign him. There we go. Accept. I don't know how we've managed to find him. Oh, he's, he's at Chelsea, that's why. Signing the next Chelsea guy. Come on, he must have been relatively good at some point for them to sign him. We could sign a crappy Tesco sandwich as well. Dr. Jones, I've got a report from my head of youth development. How's he doing, good old Dr. Jones? He's not played any games for the under 23s. He's just, he wasn't even played last year for the under 23s. He's not good enough for the under 23s, even, apparently. That's really weird. Surely they could at least play him in the odd game, bring him off the bench. FA Cup fourth qualifying round. So that's the round that we started now that we're in the division above. So there's only one round. This round is between us and the first round proper. We've never made the first round proper. I aim to change that this season. Who are we going to take on then? We're taking on Oxford City from the Vanarama National League South. So we should really be beating them, division below us. And we're at home as well. 
if we get through to the first round, I'll definitely be showing that game in a live comp. I've just been scouting so many players, as you'd probably expect. Oh, Llewellyn, a Welsh midfielder. Let's have a look. Uh, some of his attributes are very impressive, but kind of in the wrong places for a midfielder. Teamwork's good. It's very aggressive again, but passing and vision, they're only okay. I don't think... Is it really... Imp I mean, he probably wouldn't... I probably won't be able to sign him anyway. They want too much money. Marlow, team of the week. Lovely to see. There's still ongoing rumours about the takeover. Apparently a £220,000 takeover it would be. It's led by Business Tycoon. Freiburg based. So it's a German, possibly. Well, they're, they're based in Freiburg anyway. René Kremer. Kramer. Interesting. We'll have to see what happens here. I, they better not sack me when they come in. That would be just... The right anti-climax. So if Zellis is injured, Grant War has to come in. And Awusu will come in to the bench. There we go. Good old Awusu. We haven't seen him for a while. Mackenzie suspended. So I'm going to put Dion Mills into the team. And Alex Pitt's injured for a few weeks, by the way, as well. I forgot to mention that. So, yeah, let's put Brady Chick on the bench. We'll have three strikers on the bench. Darren Miller's going to come out for Lee Orf. Uh, no, Jack Young. Let's give Jack Young a chance. Come on, let's give him a chance. I'm going with this. So, Warren goal. First time he started a match for a long time. Lofts, by and Walker at the back. We need an improvement from the defence. No penalties today, please, guys. Howcroft at right wing back. For some reason, his role ability has dropped off. Warren on the left. Roach is staying in defensive midfield. Or should I bring Holmes in? How did Roach do in the last? I think he did okay. Let's play Roach there. Mills and Marlow in the middle. Jack Young and Spencer Drury up front. I'd like to say thank you to those of you that have supported me via Patreon so far and you've pledged to support me in the series and my YouTube venture. You, you guys are legends, thank you very much. If you do want to feature on the credit screen, on the Patreon season ticket holder screen, then um, head over to my Patreon to see how you can do that. I'll put a link in the description below. Please smash the like button on this video, it'd be much appreciated. That's another way you can support my series and me by liking the video, by sharing the video. That's even more important in a way. If you're if you're able to, if you want to share t via Twitter or, or Facebook or or any other means, even word of mouth to your friends. That's that helps me out. Anyone that has shared my videos, you are legends too. You're all legends for watching, to be fair, but even more of a legend if if you help me out. Help me grow. Massive game away from home against Havens and Waterloo. The team that came up with us, of course, last season via the playoffs. They want revenge, I suppose, for missing out on winning the title. Although it doesn't really matter how you go up, so I'm sure they're not too bothered about that. But they would need to win this to try and overtake us and get out of a real rot at the bottom of the table. It's so close. After th This is the 13th game of the season. We've won two so far. Hoping for a third victory today. Our first away victory, maybe, of the season. Going with another different strike partnership up front. I'm just trying to find the best partnership for us, really. Here's Jack Youngs. Back to Howcroft. It's knocked in. Drury heads it into the back of the net. It's a beautiful header from him. And it's another Howcroft assist. It was a brilliant cross. And Spencer Drury, who probably is our best striker, scores a lovely finish. It's a nice little header back from Jack Young as well, getting involved in this goal. What a header that is. Just completely find it. Well, beating the keeper ends up. Here come Havant and Waterloo well then on the ball. Get in there, guys. Win it back. Well done, Warren. It's into Drury. It's over the top for Jack Young, who doesn't have the pace to get on the end of that. But this is an opportunity. He scores his first goal at this level. Oh, it's so pleasing to see that his first goal, competitive goal, first team goal for ages. This year, I think, this calendar year. We love Jack Young. He smashed it down the middle. I'm not really sure what the keeper was doing. He does get some help from keepers quite often with some of his goals. But, oh, it's so... I'm so happy to see him score. He's just proven his critics wrong. I think some of the people, people probably thought he'd never come back and never score a game for the club. But he has scored. Even if he never scores again, at least he can say he scored a goal after getting injured. And we are 2-0 up at half-time. This is pleasing. This is what we want from this fixture. Now let's just hang on to this. No stupid penalties today, guys, please. We're in 20th place as it stands, just outside the relegation zone. I'm confident 
I'm confident we can survive this season. I, I really do. Here's Warren. Crossing it in. Jack Yon again. Oh, what a legend. Second goal of the season. Maybe Young and Drury up front is the answer. 3-0 up. I know we're playing the weakest team in the division. But, I mean, we're predicted to finish below them technically, aren't we? It's a lovely assist from Warren as well. And this is a good finish from Young. Left-footed. Poked it into the corner. Oh, I'm so happy for him. And so happy for us. We're playing brilliantly today. I am going to take Spencer Drury off. We're going to bring Lee Orford on up front alongside Jack Young. We'll see how those two work together. Jack Young, what a legend. He's still doing it. It's a corner um, just headed away by Walker there, but they've still got the opportunity to get the shot away, heaven, to Waterlooville. Let's not throw this away, guys. Grant Wall catches that. Thank you, Grant Wall, for not dropping that. And he slams it up the pitch. Can Jack Young return with a hat-trick here? I think this, this, is his first, this is his first start as well. I mean, he's come off the bench a couple times. But this is actually his first start. Oh, I've just done something. I didn't want to do that. I'm going to take off. Marlowe's quite tired. We're going to bring on Brady Chick into central midfield. He's not really a central midfielder. But we're going to play him there anyway. Maybe he can bat, batter in a long shot. Calm. In, encourage. We move up to 19th place as it stands. Okay, very slowly this game for some reason, not sure what's going on. A few minutes to go, should we make our last sub? I don't want to take Jack Young off. Adam Fox can come on. The defence have played really well today. We'll take off Reese Walk, he's had a fabulous game, we can get a standing ovation as he walks off the pitch. And it's a free kick, Roach whips it in. Can we make it for Roach again? It's battered clear and Good defending by Dion Mills. He defended well, then gave the ball away. And oh, War saves it. He's desperate to hang on to a clean sheet, isn't he? And he slams it up the pitch again. Surely this is the end. Few seconds to go. Forty seconds to go. Mills. It's back to Roach. It's into Warren. It's into Mills. It's through to Orford. What's he gonna do? He's picked up a yellow card already. Warren into Mills. Nice play. This just. Closing out the game. Warren into to Mills again. And I think that's going to be the end. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. The end. We've won three now. Crucial, crucial win. Four points today. Could have been six. Should have been six, really, if it wasn't for a penalty. But that is so pleasing. And I'm so happy for Jack Young. So that leaves us in 20th place. At the end of this episode, we climbed out of the relegation zone with those four points. We're two points above Macclesfield Town. That is some achievement. Macclesfield Town are a big team. They're a professional team. Uh, Sutton United, one of the semi-pro teams in here. Harrogate, a semi-pro. and So there's, most of the semi-pro teams are towards the bottom of the table. We're level with professional club Lincoln City and professional semi-pro club Halifax Town. They have a big stadium, though. Um, so they're, they're a pretty big team. Torquay United, professional club, they're also on 14 points. We're, we're playing with the big boys and we're coming out quite well actually. Only a minus five goal difference now. We've started scoring goals, we've, started con we've stopped conceding goals, which is pleasing. And there's real hope now that we can survive this season. There's a long way to go, of course, but I'm, I'm, I'm positive that we can do this. We've had a good run of games. Drawing today against Harrogate and winning against Heaventon Waterloo. It's so good to see Jack Young scoring as well. Let's look at the top goal scorer then. Spencer Drury, four goals this season now. Needs to be a bit more consistent if he wants to be our main man up front though, I think. But things are improving for him. Training's working out nicely for him. Uh, Christian marlowe has got three goals now from midfield, doing really well. Brady Chick's got two, but he's, like I said, he's gone off the boil a little bit the last couple of games. Lee Orford's got a couple goals as well. Uh, but Jack Young, in one start, suddenly he's got two goals. This man is just, I just don't understand. Everything's going down for him at the moment. He's changed his face again for some reason. Maybe that's a wig that he occasionally likes to wear. Hmm, I reckon that's the case. But the fact that he obviously isn't as good as quite... A, he's apparently worse than Dale Wall. He's doing quite well in the under-23s, by the way. He might be featuring in the first team soon. So apparently he's our eighth best striker. But he's just come up with two really important goals today. 
to help win us that game. What a legend. Anyway, thank you for watching today's episode. We'll end it on that note. Um, the next episode, I'm hoping, will be the FA Cup first round, but that might not be the case if we lose against Oxford. Until next time, guys, enjoy Football Manager 2017, and thank you for your continued support of Regen Rovers. Yeah.